Rest in peace to George Floyd On this episode of Demons Row TV We talk about the Black Biker set The third installment of the Racial Divide series And we get into it On this episode of Demons Row TV And oh yeah, we ghosting baby My ghosts, my ghostsets. Welcome to Demons Row TV, the holy grail of MC culture, where we cover everything motorcycle club involved. I'm Sos the Ghost. I'm your host for the evening, and today we're gonna talk about the third installment of the Racial Divide series. We're gonna talk about the Black Biker set. But the first thing I want you to do, like we always do on this channel, is to hit me with that. Now, ghosting, and that lets me know you're alive and well, sitting on twos, doing what you do, or just part of the Demons Row community, one of my ghosts. Shout to all my new subscribers, welcome to the row, thank you for supporting the Demons Row merch the way you've been doing, follow the Sosa the Ghost page, we're gonna drop a lot of content on there, I wanna give a big shout out to Gothic Jewelry. They lace me with the Aya Sauron and the 1% of ring. I think I want to get the lightning bolt joint too. But if you use the code GHOSTIN, they give you 20% off any ring, pendant, whatever they got going on. So check that out. I'm going to link that down. Big shout to Gothic Jewelry. Go support that. This week's certified ghost that goes out to St. Louis, Missouri. Queen Sit. She's at Queen Sit on Instagram. She got the YouTube channel. Y'all go check her channel out. I'm going to link it down in the description. The quality is crazy. She got the 2019 Road Glide. She's killing the streets. My inbox was flooded. Yo, vote for Queen Sit. Vote for Queen Sit. She's a queen of the road. Queen Sit, you are a certified ghost that. This week's certified ghost goes out to mr terror la boy repping that thunder guards mc one percent terror underscore the underscore don on instagram y'all follow him he got a crazy red bagger the homies doing his thing you are a certified ghost all right y'all let's get into it racial divide and motorcycle clubs we're going to talk about the black biker set. If you didn't see the other two videos I did, it's a running series. The last two weeks, I did the Spanish set first. I'll link that down. And then I did whites not allowing blacks into clubs. And we talked about the whole prison politics and everything. So on this episode, I want to talk about the black biker set, how the black bikers are feeling. And on the last episode, when I spoke about the whites, a lot of whites hit me with you know in the dms like how about black clubs that don't allow whites and i was thinking about it like this like let's say you're a black person right and you want to join whatever club it may be and they tell you you can't get down strictly off the color of your skin now you're gonna still want to ride regardless right so you click up with your homies you know your like-minded like skin colored homies and you start your own club wouldn't the first thing you do is be like i'm not gonna allow the people that didn't allow me in theirs and mine i don't necessarily agree with that train of thought for now but if i was in that situation and i went to this club and they told me that i couldn't get down strictly because of my skin color i would be like fuck them you know what i mean like real talk like i wouldn't want to roll with them 
to be honest with you i would probably the way i think they would probably be enemies off top you know what i mean which is what happened in you know out in these places where racial tensions were high so put yourself in their shoes when you start your club you're not gonna want any whites in it if you were black and they told you you couldn't get down with it because you were black so that i understand now this day and age i feel like if your loyalty is to your patch then color religion all of that stuff it really doesn't matter because your loyalty is one to that patch so if it's about race then there's something bigger than your patch you know what i mean and i feel like we need to rise to the to the point where the patch is supreme the patch is the thing that unites all of us you know what i mean and then eventually mc culture as a whole and that's the reason why i'm even talking about the the racial divide is because i feel like things just go on forever and nobody really talks about it and they just accept it you don't have to actually accept that things are fucked up you can be strong-minded and bring it up and use your platform to make change and that's what i want to do like my club the diversity in it it is just dope you know what i mean and it makes it where the where the patch is supreme you know if you chill with people that are more your race a little bit more that's fine you know you have more things in common or whatever but let's keep it a stack man and this is the reason why i brought it up racism is not just a white thing there's a lot of racism on the black side too and people look at racism like only white people can be racist anybody can be racist and you know the black biker set is is a fun set it's a lot of parties a lot of women it's a lot of good times that i cannot deny and if you're younger you would the black set is more something that you would enjoy the way the black biker set is run is you'll have your dominance the same way as any state or any set you have your one percenters that kind of overlook the whole show of what's going on and they're kind of responsible for what goes on in that territory a lot of them are blessed by a white one percenter club and mostly for the fact that these clubs have been around for a long time you know what i mean so nine out of ten if you're one percenter you got your blessing from a white one percent of mc one of the bigger clubs that's been around for a long time that's just the way it works it's, it's the you know it's the nature of the beast they've been around all this time so if you're starting up somewhere and this is why i teach protocol and respect of getting a blessing you have to get a blessing in this day and age just to pop up and throw on cuts and vests and stuff and try to roll out you're gonna get hurt you're gonna get caught in a bad situation and that's why vests come off people's backs and you know people on the internet will act like this isn't the way it is but what i'm telling you is the truth these vests come off some of the baddest toughest clubs are either support or had to get a blessing i mean it's everybody that's just the way it works if they're around and they're more organized you know they control what's you know what's going on so the black dominant of that set of the black set they handle a lot of the issues in the area so let's say something happens with a 99 nothing major that that a, that a dominant white would have to clean up but like something you know some disrespect some something small you know what i mean that dominant black will handle his own people it's kind of like that's how divided we are that they won't even kind of like engage with them unless it's like you know they bump heads and it just goes down that type of situation but anything about like a club opening up a lot of times they'll tell you to go to that black dominant and get the blessing from them like even if you live in you know an area where they're you know mostly populated they look at it as you would be in that set and that's what i mean about the division like it's so divided in mc culture and, and people don't realize it now the real reason why i brought up the racial divide topic the real reason why this whole series has been going on is because with everything going on in this country i need people to understand that we are stronger together i need you to understand that it's a lot of smoke they they're using your pride in your culture to turn you against anybody that could defend you when they send troops to your house and tell you you have to take an inoculation this culture is not stuck to the tv so we're very awake and aware of what's going on in the world 
and since everybody's been sitting home because of the covid there's not really too much division if you're in your house everybody's in their house so you sit back a little and you start realizing things and when you realize that this country is completely taking our rights away just think about it freedom of speech is like almost 100 percent dead and listen i know a lot of people hate cops and you know ftp and all that i understand it listen i get it i grew up in the bronx we hated them but let me tell you something i'm starting to realize they are also part of the conditioning they are being conditioned to, to look at us as enemies and we're being conditioned to look at them as enemies and you want to know why look at the whole kneeling situation with colin kaepernick then look at the the george floyd with him getting killed by the white cop kneeling on his neck a lot of people that think small will look at that and be like oh fuck the police i hate police we need to go to war with the police no 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 the police are just like you they go home in the same neighborhoods you go home in the real threat to me and the reason why they're promoting negativity against police and listen rest in peace to anybody who has ever lost their life due to police violence i'm not defending police but what i am saying is they want you to hate police so that they can roll the military in that's the real truth this country has been hijacked this is the, like it's not even the united states anymore it's the united nations so they're promoting for you to hate police so that you go against police they become your enemy so now we're fighting each other and then what happens the savior comes right oh yeah you know what the police are dirty we need to get rid of the police let's bring the military in and police the police but what they don't tell you is that military is going to keep you locked in your crib too i don't know what it is why like certain people just don't understand what's going on or, or they just need that other person like it just didn't dawn on them that this type of stuff could happen but i mean it's been going on all throughout history this is this is roman empire shit this has been going on forever kings and queens and all of this it's been going on forever and we're getting to a point where listen thanks to everybody that ever fought in a war so that we can have these freedoms and rest in peace to anybody that died in a war but you are spinning on their grave when you give up your rights there's people that died so that we have the right to say how we feel in other countries they can't do that shit. they can't say how they feel other countries don't even have internet other countries limit how many kids you can have let's talk about it let's be real here if we all stood together everybody's always crying that somebody got brutalized by the police well how many people were watching when that happened think about it four cops come and the whole neighborhood watches and one person gets stomped into the ground how many people are in the whole neighborhood if the whole neighborhood gets involved and i'm not saying i'm not promoting to beat up cops or anything but if the whole neighborhood gets involved and pulls them off somebody they cannot go to war with all the people we outnumber them clearly they're being conditioned the same way we're being conditioned and honestly i i don't know the facts on every single case but it wouldn't surprise me if some of these people that committed these acts are not even real police officers like they're feds or cia or something like that it would not listen if the guys if, if somebody lives in the town where that happened with george floyd and that's a regular cop from the neighborhood that put his foot on his neck and killed him in front of everybody on camera let me know I, I would like to know that if that's just a regular cop that walks around that everybody knows that did that i i sincerely doubt that i really would think that it would be a fed or somebody else that's hired and, and listen this stuff is being promoted it's like it's a stunt they, they, they're promoting the Kaepernick Neil, and then all of a sudden, this dude kneels on the dude's neck. Like, why didn't he just choke him with his hands or step on him? Or why was it the same pose? You know what I mean? You gotta think about that type of stuff. Like, these people really think we're stupid. And you know, to, to be honest with you, we really are. And it's like, in MC culture, 
I feel that there's so many of us now that if we at least stood together against anything, we'd be too strong of a resistance. We wouldn't even have to fight. We would just have to stand together. There is so many of us. Do you know how many precincts it would take for them to try to enforce something? And think about it. If we all stood together, how many of you have a family member that's a police officer? How many police and, and, and police officers that watch this show? The LEMCs and, and all y'all. Y'all need to start waking up too. Because they're turning you against your own people. So your job is to protect and serve. Not to be a dick and put people down. We need to fix our problems even with the police. And I know these are conversations that nobody brings up. But it's the truth. It is the truth. They are people just like us. They're from the same neighborhoods. They come and live in the same neighborhoods. So we need to fix our relation. You police, you need to step your game up. You need to look at yourself. Why are you hating on people that are just like you? And why are you putting yourself in a position where you're against your own people when you signed up to protect and serve? So my MCs, we need to stick together because soon we're not gonna have a choice. Soon they're gonna tell us, shut up and stay in your house. What are you gonna do? Thank you for tuning in to Demons Row TV, the holy grail of MC culture. Like, subscribe, and comment. Share this. Tell them to get to the part where I got to the meet because I put it towards the end purposely so that they don't try to take me down. And oh yeah, we ghosting, baby.